This writing is quite small. The absolute size, the top to the bottom, is only seven millimeters, and the middle zone is about three millimeters. So you've got small writing, somebody who's not absolutely pushing himself forward. It's very disconnected um, with a rather somewhat stiff and subdued rhythm, which is a sign of anxious alertness. But that's a positive in the sense that they're not going to miss anything. The letters are very separate and there's a very clear gap between each of the letters, which is a, in this particular type of writing, is a sign of a slight pedantry and fussiness who want to make certain everything's okay. It has a sinuous bass line. This is how you pursue your aims. And it, as you can see, it's slightly jumping up and down. So there's some uncertainty in this writing. And in addition to that, the personal pronoun is a lowercase i, which is extremely unusual because this is the most important letter in English anyhow, that the personal pronoun should be a capital letter. In addition to that, the M has a rising structure, whereby the second hump is higher than the first hump, and that is a, again a slight feeling of self-consciousness. The N again is one of these Ns which are narrow versus the height, but this is very small writing so it doesn't have quite the same connotations, but he is constraining um, his emotions, so he's unlikely to express what he truly feels is inside him. If you look at the signature, this is quite different to the rest of the writing. There's a nice hook at the beginning, which is he knows what he wants to get, but the most interesting thing is quite a lot of um, embellishment going on here, but look at the end of the writing here a very unusual structure. That is an, an X. Now when you have an X in a signature, it's somebody who really does like competition. So with all this slight withdrawn quality in the text, here is somebody who is capable in the ultimate to come out fighting.